You probably never want to think about your child being in or around gangs, but it could be happening without you realizing. NBC 15's Christy Diamond explains how one local community spent the past several years studying gang activity. Facing concerns about a growing level of gang activity in Sun Prairie, the city began this project nearly three years ago. While they still can't say for sure how many kids are involved in gangs, they know the problem is there and they have to address it. Our belief is that without proactive steps, the gang activity will increase. That's why Sun Prairie Administrator Aaron Oppenheimer says the city just published a nearly 70-page report on gangs and what to do about them. And what most people think about when they think of gang, gang activity is more of the, the corporate hierarchy, the organized structure. But this report defined gangs more broadly as a group of three or more persons with a common identifying sign, symbol, or name and whose members engage in criminal activity. <laughs> In one part of the study, gang experts viewed hallway surveillance video of Sun Prairie High School students. When they interact, do they throw up particular signs when they meet each other? And what do those signs mean? The report identifies between 60 and 70 confirmed gang members from the Chicago-based Bloods to the Sun Prairie-based Biker Boys. But this isn't the whole picture because Oppenheimer says that's difficult to get. We may track the number of vandalism incidents we have, but do we track that as connected to gangs? So we have some data, but not all of the data. While the number of juvenile arrests declined from 2003 to 2013, the number of kids committing property crimes increased. We know that this, this activity will continue to increase if we don't provide positive outlets. The second part of the report examines whether teens have enough alternative options to joining a gang. Are they able to get employment within the city? If they'd like a job, are they able to get a job? With a series of recommendations like improving transportation and expanding out-of-school activities, Oppenheimer says the work is really only beginning. Our work is not done with this report being uh, provided to us. Now the committee that compiled this report will be presenting it on August 19th to Sun Prairie City Council and the school board. If you want to take a look at it, you can find a link to it on our website. Just head to NBC15.com and click on news links.